Hey everybody, this is Ditto from Reef to Reef. My GHL Profilux Mini Wi-Fi Controller Kit came in today, and I'm going to be using this GHL Profilux Wi-Fi Controller Mini on my brand new 26-gallon saltwater seahorse tank that I'm now setting up. I went with the GHL Mini Controller for a few reasons. As you have seen in other videos on my YouTube channel, I use both the Profilux 4 and the 4E controllers on multiple tanks. The stability and reliability that GHL brings to the controller market is second to no other on the market out there. I also went with the Mini for a couple other reasons. The stability and reliability. I needed the controller that would allow me to monitor and control my tank while I was away. I needed the ability to control my return pumps, my skimmer and heater, and a light bar that will also be installed on the tank. I needed to have access to features that I'm accustomed to having already on my existing tanks like feed and maintenance mode, along with the audible and visual alarms that come with the GHL controller line. Last, the cost. The cost of this controller set was less than 370 US dollars, which came with everything needed to get this up and running, and it just made it to be an obvious choice for a 26 gallon tank. With this, when you order the Profilux Mini, you get the Profilux Mini, you get the digital temperature sensor port, and it's not analog, it's digital. You get the pH probe, you also get the calibration fluid for the pH Pro, both the pH 4 and 7 uh, calibration fluid, which is shown right here. And the other thing that you get is an STL 4.4 power bar. This is the four port power bar that will be connected to the controller via an RJ11 cable. And it allows you to control up to four devices that are going to be connected to switch outlets along with a red LED outlet indicator that will tell you if the outlets are on or off. The quality and the weight of the power bar along with the size reminds me of the power bar 5.1s and the power bar 6.E's. The STL power bars are also supported both by US and European power configurations. And that's important to know is that European markets can also purchase these. You're gonna notice also that it uses an RJ11 cable and not a PAB cable when it comes to connecting the STL 4.4 to the Profilux Mini. So next, on this power bar, you get the four switchable controller parts. I'm gonna be doing two heaters, a skimmer, and my return pump. Reason why I'm using two heaters is I like redundancy. One of them will be used, and then if my tank gets too cold, the secondary one will turn on. The third one will be for my skimmer for things like feed mode, and then my return pump, which will be used in maintenance mode. Again, a really good power bar. Again, great quality. LED indicators on the bottom again to tell you if it's on or off. And again, a perfect fit for my nano tank. Again, back to the Profilux mini controller. Again, it's pretty much standard. You're going to get the four, uh, the three line display standard with the Profilux controller, like the 4E and the Profilux 4. You get the controller cables up, down, left, right, along with the confirmation uh, of confirm and cancel. On the back of the unit, you get the power adapter. Again, the power adapter supplies power to the unit. GHL power adapters can be supplied for the GHL Profilux Mini that support both US and European models. The next port that you see on here is the black port. This is your multifunction port. This is not a PAB port like you see on the Profilux 4 and 4E devices, but specifically a multifunction port. This port is used for digital lighting control for the Metris light bars, up to three level and link sensors, and the GHL automatic feeder. Again, can all be connected into this port. The next set of ports, the two yellow ports, also known as the L ports, are one through 10 volt interface ports, which allow you to control up to four devices via the one through 10 volt, or two devices per port via Y cable. These can be used to control lights, pumps, coolers, and heaters that can be connected to the Profilux Mini uh, connector. The next connection, which is a red port. This is used to, for the STDL 4.4 power bar. You can only have one power bar on the device. Next is your BNC digital temperature sensor port. This is not an analog sensor port. 
Then you have your USB legacy connection, which is used for the GHL legacy desktop Windows app. Love this feature, allows us to get back into the system. And last is your PH port that is used. Overall, you also have mounting brackets on the back of it. You have the two screw holes if you want to mount it to a wall. This does work with the GHL Connect app. It is connected to your network via Wi-Fi, and I'm going to be showing in a future video how easy it is to configure this entire device using the Mini, uh, using the GHL Connect app. Along with that, you can control your device both on your network and off of your network through the GHL Connect app and also using the GHL Cloud Services. Again, I hope you like this quick overview video of the GHL Mini. This is Ditto from Reef to Reef, signing off.